Well, y'all saw me taking apart the motor, and I was trying to figure out what went wrong on the break-in process. And uh, if you're new to the channel, that was a 302 that I just put GT40P heads on and swapped this ISKI cam and ISKI lifters into it. And upon break-in, I was getting a ton of horrible noises. So if you want to go check that video out, I'll place the uh, link to that video in the description and y'all can go watch that and see for yourself the carnage that I was hearing. But uh, anyways, as I was tearing down the motor, I thought for sure this cam and lifters, one of the two were going to be bad, if not both, um, because I was just hearing some horrible noise. But I mean, the cam, it actually, you know, is fine and every single lifter looks good and they actually you know got good wear patterns on them all the push rods looked fine so i actually think the break-in of this cam went just fine i think it actually you know broke in and would have been fine what the problem is is this bottom end it is trash and I mean, literally the worst bottom end I've ever seen. When I pulled this cap off right here, these two bearings were literally on top of each other. And they are just spinning around the crank instead of acting as bearings. And uh, get it to focus. You can see there, they're, it's horrible. I mean, it's, those are massive gouges in the crank. Um, Yeah, your, your bearing shouldn't move that much and make that much noise. So, almost every single one of these, except for the, oh no, take it back. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but a lot of movement, a lot of noise from every single one of these. I'm gonna, place a good bet and say every one of these is wiped and bad this is the original motor that was in my 86 and the people before me that had it for the last 30 plus years did not take care of it it doesn't look like they ever changed the oil in it um, you can see in the bottom of the pan here just oh yeah look at that mm, yummy and that's after me putting, you know, three or four oil changes in this truck. And I ran some cleaners and stuff, detergents in here to try to clean it out. And you can still see. Just disgusting. But, you know, I kind of feel a little better about the situation. You know, at least what I did was correct. The heads I swapped on, you know, had no issues. The cam and lifters broke in. So that makes me feel better about the process. I thought I failed as a mechanic and did something wrong and destroyed my top end. But all along, all this noise, which I thought was valve train noise from the beginning before I even started rebuilding, is actually bottom end noise. So good to know, sucks that after all that work, and uh, rebuilding this motor as far as the top end, it didn't work out. But we're going to build that 302 roller motor right there. And we're going to build back better, build back faster. So it's a, you know, it's a disappointment, but hey, you can make a bad situation better. And uh, in the end, I wanted to go with that roller motor anyway so my hand has been forced <laughs> but i'm gonna just dis disassemble this block and uh maybe rebuild it one day or turn it into a stroker motor or something fun but i'm gonna pull these gt40p heads off take the gt40s that are on that motor and uh because these i had these 
decked and machine had 20,000 shaved off to try to bump the compression up. So they're gonna make more horsepower than those GT40s. Although the GT40 is a great head itself, but I'll probably sell the GT40s and uh, that'll pay for my new cam and lifters for that motor. And uh, I did contact Summit before all this and, and told them that I think I wiped my cam and they were super cool and said just go ahead and send it back um, they're going to give me a full refund so um, i'm going to call them back and tell them that it, it is fine and see what they say they might say go ahead and send it back or they might tell me to keep it either way i'm fine i'll just put a uh, put it back in the package with a lot of you know oil so they don't rust or anything and save it for a future project or maybe some it will just give me my money back and I'll go ahead and buy the cam for that motor. Anyways, guys, hope this little video was cool and informative. If y'all got a motor that's making a ton of noise, uh, might be your bottom end. <laughs> Even if it sounds like valve train noise. Uh, the reason I thought it was valve train noise is because I was hearing so much valve train noise. It wasn't like just one rod was knocking or something. But, uh, I would have never guessed every bearing, every rod would be knocking. But, hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. But, Anyways, guys, y'all go check out the channel. Subscribe. Check out the other videos. We got tons of videos on all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, until the next one, peace.